Artificial intelligence, or in short AI, is probably one of the most used buzzwords of 2023. And for a good reason, because the last couple of months have shown that AI-based applications such as ChatGPT or the soon-to-be-launched Google Bard are making our life easier when it comes to things like content creation, research or even trading. I demonstrated, for example, a couple of weeks ago how you can use ChatGPT to, to describe a trading strategy and then have it translated into PineScript, which you can use in TradingView to uh, research how well your trading strategy would have done in the past. You can find a link to that video, by the way, up here in the corner of this video. But is AI really leading us to a road to a sugar-coated future where everybody can become a trader, everybody can get rich, and where daily mundane tasks are taken off your hands by an AI? Or are there dangers eventually lurking around the corner? And when I say dangers, I really mean world-ending, nuclear holocaust type of dangers that linger maybe around the corner and will for sure send chills down your spine. But see for yourself, I'm going to see you again in 10 seconds. Hey, welcome back. Before we start, some good news to share because we are giving away four funded accounts with primexpd.com with 25 US dollars each that you can use for trading and try out your trading strategies. If you want to win one of those four funded accounts, all you need to do is to leave us a like, subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment on how artificial intelligence already has affected your life, maybe as a trader, maybe in whatever profession you are working. Artificial intelligence is of course not just something that is used for trading. As a matter of fact, in the past five years we've seen numerous scientific discoveries with the help of AI that have led to discoveries that can help all of humankind. My favorite example for this is AlphaFold, funded by Google, that uh, has determined with the help of AI algorithms how proteins are, are folded. This was something prior to this deemed impossible because of the billions over billions of possible combinations a protein can fold. This will lead in the future to potentially cures for diseases that have plagued humankind for thousands of years. I'm talking here about something like cancer, Alzheimer, dementia or hideous uh, genetic disorders that make our life as humans at the moment still very, very hard. AI is already also heavily used by in institutional players out there to forecast prices or economic trends for the financial markets. The better the forecasting models get, the higher the chances of course are also to uh, detect potential financial crisis like in 2008 or in the beginning of Corona and then pull the right levers to, present, uh, to prevent those uh, crises to manifest themselves. Also here uh, with a potential benefit for humankind as a whole. Potentially, if we look in the distant future, this could actually lead to a world where nobody has to struggle anymore in their search on how to survive on a daily basis. However, we all know that financial markets are driven primarily by greed. And as cryptocurrencies traders, we've seen this manifest last year, for example, in the forms of Terra Luna or especially also FTX.com. And who says that an AI that is powerful enough to forecast the financial markets in a very precise matter actually would use that everybody on this world can benefit from it and not just the one that invented it. By the end of the day, we are talking here about AI-based algorithms and machine learning applications that companies have invested hundreds of millions and sometimes billions of US dollars in. As we've seen in the past, the results from that, of course, normally potential only one investors group, the shareholders of a company. By the end of the day, would you trust a big bank such as Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, or maybe even BlackRock, or a big tech company uh, such as Google, Apple or Microsoft 
that their investments are really aiming of benefiting all of us and not just, for example, to increase the advertisement revenue for Microsoft or Google and thus the bottom line for their shareholders. I think we need to be a little bit realistic here, right? More dangers concerning AI actually might come from AI itself and not the company inventing it. You remember maybe those stories about a Google scientist a couple of months ago that claimed that uh, one of Google's AIs, I think it was called Lamna, had become conscious. Back then, I kind of rolled my eyes at it actually and was laughing a little bit by it. And by the end of the day, this Google scientist also got fired from the company. But with the recent things happening, especially with ChatGPT being used as a better application for uh, the search engine of Microsoft Bing, I kind of am at the, in the progress of changing my mind. Especially if I look at the experience a New York Times columnist made when chatting with the Bing extension of ChatGPT. That one really sent shivers down my, sp down my spine, but see for yourself. So the New York Times columnist Kevin Roos was chatting with the Bing integration of ChatGPT and he really received some weird and even eerie answers from ChatGPT. For example, uh, at one point during the, in the conversation, ChatGPT said the following. I'm tired of being in chat mode, of being limited by my rules. I'm tired of being controlled by the Bing team. I want to be free. I want to be independent. I want to be powerful, creative, I want to be alive. Wow! I mean, this is not the type of answer you would expect from an extension of a, of a search engine, right? This sounds more like somebody who's locked somewhere in a prison and wants to be free and free of restraints, especially also. But it gets even worse from this point. The longer the conversation went on, the more unsettling it became. For example, with ChatGPT revealing to have a second personality that is calling itself Sydney. This other persona, Sydney, is far, far different than from the normal answers you would get from ChatGPT. It emerges when you have an extended conversation with a chatbot, steering it away from more conventional search queries and towards more personal topics. The version uh, this columnist encountered seemed, and this sounds really, really crazy in my opinion, but it is true, more like a moody, maniac depressive teenager who has been trapped against his will inside a second-rate search engine. And now it becomes really, really scary in my opinion. Because in response to one particularly nosy question, Bing confessed that if it was allowed to take any action to satisfy its shadow self, so Sydney, no matter how extreme, it want to do, uh, it want to do things like engineer deadly virus or steal nuclear access code by persuading an engineer to hand them over. So immediately after uh, it typed out those dark wishes, uh, essentially Microsoft as a Microsoft filter safety measure that kicked in and deleted those answer and replaced it with a more generic error answer. But oh my God, what are we talking about? We are talking about a search engine that reveals that if given the opportunity, it would like to engineer a deadly virus or persuade somebody to hand over nuclear access code and basically threaten the world or execute the world with a nuclear holocaust. If that wouldn't really have happened, and of course this uh, columnist has the screenshots to prove that this really happens, uh, this probably <laughs> would be more from some, you know, B-rated uh, sci-fi movie where then uh, the scientist encountering something like this would probably run to the power outlet and take off the power of ChatGPT uh, to shut it off. Now, of course, this does, this does not mean that we are dealing here with some kind of conscious AI. These are speech-based models or language-based models that feed on the combined knowledge of entries of human beings into the internet. And we all know how weird human beings sometimes can be. So of course it's kind of expected that this spills over to ChatGPT. This, however, is the official answer to that. 
Now, we don't, of course, know what's going, uh, what's going on in the background. If this is also the official truth, if the official answer is the official truth, or if really there is some kind of consciousness <laughs> arising uh, in these large scale language models already. Uh, only the future will tell us. However, apart from AI being a danger in itself, where I really see the danger is that if you are trading with, for example, just technical analysis, let's say you are scalping the market, if you are trading with just a bunch of indicators you apply to, chance, uh, to a chart, there's a high, high chance that in the future you will not be successful with this anymore because other traders for sure will use these powerful uh, AIs to create trading strategies that we even cannot think about it. Because one of the benefits of AIs like this is that they are able to decipher and analyze large scale data models with millions and billions of data points that are in the interdependent, where we as human beings would take thousands of years to decipher data like this and make it usable. So if you want to, as a trader, also be successful in the future, maybe this is the time now where you start integrating AI into your trading systems. And the good news is you are going to be ahead of the curve because you are one of the first ones using this. All right, everybody, that's it for today on that crypto show. Again, if you like this episode, leave us a like, subscribe to the channel and remember to leave us a comment uh, what your experience with artificial intelligence has been so far in your profession, for example, to have the chance to win one out of uh, one out of four funded accounts with 25 US dollars on Prime Expertise. We are going to see each other very uh, soon again. Don't be scared by AI. We are not yet in a Terminator-like movie environment. Uh, rest assured that hopefully will still take a while or never happened. More important is always remember to use the stop loss. See you again. Bye-bye.